You know, I can't count the times that someone has said to me, man, I scrolled past your videos several times without stopping on them because I thought you was just going to be another redneck with a right wing point of view and I kept scrolling. I've had people actually apologize to me for prejudging me and I don't hold no any hard feelings toward anyone like that because I totally get it. Then I've also had people reach out to me and say, man, I can't believe you ain't one of us. I can't believe you was born in Tennessee, you grew up in Kentucky, you went to the same churches as us and both your granddaddies was Republican. What in the world got into you? Well, I just saw through the other side for what they were. And I go back to something my dad told me years ago. My dad said to me, be careful who you're friends with, be careful who you associate with, because whoever you're friends with and associate with, that's who people are gonna assume that you're like. You can't go to a church and say, I'm just going for the fellowship or I'm just going for the wine and bread if that preacher is preaching hate. Everyone that sees you going to his church is automatically gonna assume that you agree with his ideology. So I distanced myself from that a long time ago. I walked away from the church back in 2002 because the preacher I was sitting under had completely lost the plot. He had completely jumped the shark and he was completely twisting the scripture for his political gain and I wanted no part of it. And so, you know, when people says to me, why ain't you a Republican? Well. After Donald Trump infiltrated the Republican Party, I can't see that I would ever consider going back over to that side. And if we start with the head of the snake, if we start with Donald Trump, well, that dude's been a grifter and a con man from day one. That dude was a phony billionaire who tricked a bunch of people into believing that he was the voice of the common man and he grifted them all the way to the bank. It was a guy that bragged about grabbing women by the pussy. He was a guy that, that made fun of prisoners of war, called veterans suckers and losers. He's got four indictments, 91 charges against him. He's been found liable of sexual abuse, proven guilty of fraud. Why is that anybody that I would ever want to align myself with or associate with in any way? And then when you start working your way down the party, you got people like Marjorie Taylor Greene out there doing her cheap dollar General Trump impression. She's out here saying that we should secede from the union and that if you're a Democrat that moves to a red state, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. Why would I ever want to be associated with her and her Jewish space laser, laser conspiracy theories? Why would I ever want to be associated with that shit? Then you've got Lauren Boebert out here preaching family values, which they all do, and more on that later, but you've got her out here preaching family values and telling women that the reason their marriage is falling apart is because they didn't chase Jesus enough, and then she's out here giving handies at a Beetlejuice play. Then you've got Jim Jordan, they're trying to make him the speaker, and he's got all these allegations and accusations against him, and that's not a deal breaker for them, even though they're the family of you know, they're the party of family values and they're, they're afraid of who your kids might be around, but they give Jim Jordan a pass, that's no problem. Then you got like people like Rudy Giuliani, I mean, what a train wreck that dude is. You got Matt Gates, another train wreck. I mean, I could sit and name those people all day. Then you step outside the, the political arena and you get out into the entertainment field. You got guys like Mike Lindell, who's trying to cash in on the Donald Trump grift and do his Dollar General impression. Seems like they all want to do that these days. And then, then in the music world, you've got people like Kid Rock who came down from Michigan and grabbed a Confederate flag and cashed in on Southern culture. You got Ted Nugent who was a one hit wonder. Hell, was it two? I don't remember, but hell, he's a decent guitar player, but you know, he's online looking for Michelle Obama's pregnancy pics. And, uh, you know, then you've got people like, you know, Jason Aldean with Try That in a Small Town and all that bullshit. You got people like John Rich out here telling people to shove progress up their ass. Uh, there's pretty much nobody on the right side of the aisle making music that I would ever want to cover or that I would ever want to be around or ever want to buy a ticket to go see them play, you know? And so I can't think of anybody on that side of the aisle that I would ever want my name associated with or want to be around at all. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. The, the, it, is, it is a completely a circus. It is a complete clown show. And the entire time that all these people are doing this shit, they're preaching family values to us. They're telling us that we're the immoral people. They're calling us every name in the book. When racism, homophobia, bigotry, Islamophobia, transphobia, none of those things was ever deal breakers for any of these people. They sit and preach morals and values to us, and yet they've never changed their actions at all. In the Bible, whenever Jesus said, you're forgiven, he always followed it up by saying, now go and sin no more. So. If these were really meek, humble people, treating everyone with respect and promoting love and respect, and then everybody was coming down on them and giving them a hard time, I could understand it. But these are the bullies of the world. These are people who have made cruelty a policy and they're the people that has the torch for Christianity. And people like us sees through it and wants no part of it. And for everyone that says we have no morals and values, I've, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we all actually do. We have a lot more morals and values than they ever do. I try to treat people, not, not necessarily, I don't believe in the whole treat them the way you want to be treated. I just believe in treating people good. Forget how I want to be treated. I just would prefer to treat other people good. 
I prefer to take care of my family and make sure I'm always there for them. They know that they can call me any time of the day, any time of the night. I'm going to be there to help them. I, I, I know I'm going to do that. I try to help out my friends. I try to be a good person. I try to treat people with respect. I try to listen to other people's side of the story. You know, I try to listen to another person's plight in life. I try to understand their struggles. I may, that may not be me. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not a transgender. I have no desire to be, but I've sat and talked with them because I want to hear what they have to say about it. I don't want to hear Joe Rogan tell me what they say about it. So I try to, I try to treat people good. I try to listen to everybody's side of the story. And as far as being conservative, I can take a dollar and stretch it further than most people. I have took very small amounts of money and lived on it for an entire year because I'm constantly looking at my budget. So in my mind, I'm going, well, I, I kind of am conservative. I don't understand. But they have adopted those words. They've hijacked those words. They've bastardized those words until my granddaddies, who were Republicans, wouldn't even recognize it if they were alive today. Now, what side of the fence would they be on? I don't necessarily know, but I do know this. I know if I'd have went around either one of my grandfathers talking like Donald Trump, they would have slapped the taste out of my mouth. And if any of my cousins had have acted like Lauren Boebert, they would have been grounded and their car would have been taken away. So I just want to make it clear that I want nothing to do with that side. I want nothing to do with that party at all. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm a moderate or that I'm an independent or that I'm on the fence. I'm not on the fence. I'm over here on the left and I'll take it. You know why? Because at the end of the day, is the left perfect? No. Do, do, have we had con artists in our party? Yeah, we have. And when we did, we held them accountable for it. If Lauren Boebert was a Democrat, Democrats would be calling for her to resign. If Jim Jordan was a Democrat, Democrats would have been calling for her to resign or for him to resign years ago. We always hold our own accountable more so than that side ever has or ever will. They are all about winning. Ron DeSantis said, I knew the election was rigged, but I, I kept preaching lie because I just wanted us to win. And everybody gives him a pass for it. So I do not want to be associated with that side. I'll be over here with mine and whatever we get wrong, we'll deal with it. And as far as y'all out there going, man, I can't believe Brando thinks this way, man. He was singing Waylon Jennings covers to me for years. Listen, buddy, if you're sitting down at the bar waiting on me to come back and sing Sweet Home Alabama to you, do not hold your breath.